So it's actually over five years ago that I took for the last time a pharmaceutical conventional painkiller for a headache or back pain because since then I have discovered very effective natural treatments that you can even buy at your local supermarket. Do you want to know? So let's dig into the weeds. Okay, so our first natural pain treatment that works really well and you can buy it at a local supermarket is poppy seed. So it comes in packages like this. You see the nice dark color. That's what you have to check for. It really has to have this beautiful dark bluish uh, blackish color because there's two types of poppy seed that they sell at the normal stores. One is kind of a steamed version that has the properties that we want washed out of them and one is the original natural whole poppy seed that has this nice dark color it's used for baking it's actually a very typical baking ingredient um, so that's why you can easily buy it and we can use it to treat the occasional headache or back pain or actually it works for any pain yeah so you can just take the poppy seeds i have some here for you to look at so this is more or less the dose you have to find out your dose okay so you would start with a full tablespoon and you can make a tea out of that. Just brew it with hot water, let it sit for 20 minutes and then strain it and drink it. But you can also just pop these into your mouth and wash them down with a glass of water. It's very easy because if you have a headache or any other pain, you don't want to bother to make a complicated preparation or something. So this is very a very quick and easy way to try out. Yeah. So there is only one thing, poppy seed, uh, it makes you also a bit tired. Yeah, so this is good to take in the evening or when you can sleep, when you want to wind down and it's the end of the day anyway. So it's not such a good thing to take in the morning or when you have to drive or go to work. Okay, but I come to another thing that you can use during the day that even gives you energy. Okay, so the poppy seed, um, a full tablespoon is about 10 grams. And you have to try it out, okay? You would start with a full tablespoon and then after 10, 20 minutes, it should start working. If it doesn't, take another tablespoon. So a normal adult dose is maybe around 30 grams. That's maybe an effective dose, but you have to find out, yeah? Just try it out slowly and see how it works for you, okay? Um, if you want to treat a headache and it's during the day and you do not want to get the slightly uh, sedating effect of the poppy seed, then you can also try a plain simple coffee or green tea or black tea yeah or anything that's in this direction like those stimulating herbs there's also guarana or cola nut uh, or other things that are slightly stimulating that have those so-called methyl xanthines it's a complicated word but it's just basically the caffeine or similar things in the tea and in those other uh, herbs that are stimulating it unfortunately it doesn't work if you drink coffee anyway every day yeah, so if you want to get rid of the coffee and treat your fatigue in another way, I recommend you check out my video about ashwagandha here. Uh, and then you can keep the coffee or the green tea for the occasional headache. And it's really super effective. So if you are not drinking those uh, stimulating uh, herbs like coffee or tea every day, then it works perfectly for the occasional headache. You drink a strong, good coffee or green tea. I have for these cases, I have this nice matcha tea which is actually powdered green tea. And I just need a little teaspoon of that and stir it into some hot water. I drink it and the headache is gone within 20 minutes. It really does work, okay? So I have more herbal uh, remedies for pain treatments. I have a longer video that you can check out here, uh, which uh, yeah talks about 15 other herbal remedies that you can use to effectively treat pain and also two supplements that are highly effective. One of them is magnesium. Maybe you have heard about that. I tell you exactly how to use it so that it's effective for pain. So please check that out. And I have also a full playlist about migraines. So if you're here because you're a migraine sufferer uh, then you can also check out this whole playlist that gives you more insights into how to deal better with your migraines in a natural way so thank you a lot for watching check out this playlist here and see you soon ciao